All right, so now that we've talked about hippies and a little bit about integrity, um, you know, we're going to watch Medicinal Fried Chicken. This episode, another one of Andre's favorites. I love the fucking shit out of this episode. It's so ridiculous. But it is classic Matt and Trey. It's classic, classic, classic libertarian um, sort of argument um, that is anti-paternalistic in terms of, you know, when does the government need to regulate our bodies? Should the federal government be able to tell us what we can and can't put into our bodies, specifically if there's no proof that it actually harms society. Um, And that's an interesting point um, made in this. And what they, you know, the way that they play with this, and just pay attention to how they they deconstruct this, is, you know, um, how does the government regulate what's deemed bad uh, for us? Think about all these things, right? Like, they regulate various things we put into our bodies, like alcohol and tobacco. Two things that are scientifically proven to be bad for us. Literally, there's no evidence that says smoking tobacco is actually good for you. Um, you know, but like, the, the, the other thing is like, well, regulating what type of foods we put into our bodies. Like we possibly theoretically have a choice to eat KFC or not. Um, Hawk. Sorry. Um, anyways, um, in this case, you know, the two things that they're talking about being regulated that are quote unquote bad for us are obviously, um, fast food and the example of uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken or KFC as it's now called Um, and uh, 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 marijuana marijuana is bad Um, but yeah marijuana (laughs) Um, you know and this is from 2010 so this is this is obviously before Colorado and in fact any of the other states passed uh, recreational um, you know, uh, laws allowing, you know, to to decriminalize and, and the prohibition of cannabis, um, on a state level. So at the time, Colorado had both a, um, uh, two bills that were running, that were running through, um, you know, their local government, state government for, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, allowing for medicinal marijuana and also for, um, you know, regulating where fast food restaurants could be in terms of basically saying that um, they could not be in low income areas. And we see this in the episode, you know, where, um, you know, it's, it, they're getting all the KFCs go away because all, all the KFCs are in low income neighborhoods. <laughs> um, you know, so basically, Sorry, I'm getting real comfortable up in here. Um, basically, uh, <laughs> uh, what 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 they're going in on is 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 both types of laws, and you know, should we have the freedom of choice to eat Kentucky Fried Chicken or KFC or fast food? Should we have the freedom of choice to put something like cannabis into our bodies? And Matt and Trey would say, "Fuck yeah, both of those things. We should have." The choice, right? That the government should not be concerned with that. Now, obviously, they flip it, right? They flip the whole thing. Instead of having, well, Randy is actually a, a weed addict, um, but the actual true addict in this is Cartman. Is is, is Cartman, who's addicted to um, to KFC, and it's very clear. It's the reason, only reason why he goes to soccer, and it's very clear. You know, he goes to Methadone Clivet Clinic to get his gravy. Um, you know, and we see the desperate measures that. Uh, Cartman goes through to get his his fix, um, and so they really they really flip that, and the, in the end you find out you know um, they actually end up uh, you know criminalizing um, marijuana and decriminalizing Kentucky Fried Chicken because KFC 
um, makes us all healthy because what ends up happening is all of the men of South Park start microwaving their balls so they can get testicular cancer <laughs> so that they can get, um, I can't believe I'm in a class where I get to say microwaving their balls. Um, it's just awesome. Um, so they can get testicular cancer and what ends up happening is, is, you know, scientifically, um, once, um, once KFCs come back, it turns out what they say is, oh, well, people started getting testicular cancer after all the KFCs went away. Uh, we need to bring KFC back. That was what was keeping every, everybody healthy. So it's a clear, clear, clear play on the arguments used, um, you know, for and against uh, cannabis and, and, and fast food. Um, you know, uh, it's just a really interesting episode, specifically when we're talking about regulation and government regulation of our of our choices and our liberty, our liberty to choose what we do to ourselves. Um, and the idea here, you know, in so many ways is that maybe we don't deserve choice. Maybe we can't make good choices as as individuals, as free humans. So we need the government to regulate what we eat and what we smoke or don't smoke, okay? Um, <laughs> there, it's just a very interesting, you know, what they say really at the end is like, you shouldn't have medicinal marijuana. It should just be legal. And anybody who needs it can get it. Anybody who wants it can have it. And the real argument there, and what we see at the end with, with the violent shootout over KFC, which, you know, is that when you make things criminal, when you prohibit things, you encourage black, black markets, you encourage death, violence, and health issues. And reason why is this, I mean, you look at um, drugs that are, are, are illegal, right? So there's a black market for, for cocaine, right? Well, just look at what, like, the cartels do to traffic that product here. Look at the amount of, of death and, and violence that comes through that whole thing. Look at, you know, the, the largely the gangs that, that, that partake in the other side of the trafficking and, and, and in the United States in certain, in certain, you know, uh, cities, um, Look at the death and violence there. I mean, dr drug trafficking is a huge part of, of the gang economy. And then also, like, the other main thing, too, is, like, like there's, there's lots of health issues associated with, uh, with this. Why? Because who knows what's going into the product? You know, because it can't be regulated in terms of, like, tested, right? I mean, that's the thing with, like, cannabis now. It's tested, you know, you know what you're getting when you're buying certain things. How many milligrams are, at least this is what I've heard, how many milligrams are in that edible? Um, you know, what, what type of, you know, is it uh, sativa or indica, you know, like, or is it just CBD or, or whatever it is, right? Like there's like, there's a clear way of like, once you decriminalize it, that you can that you can regulate it in a, in, a, in a different way that makes it safer, that makes it safer for people. I mean, think about um, uh, the prohibition of, um, you know, alcohol. Same thing. The black market for that was all gang related, tons of tons of violence. And you're drinking fucking moonshine and shit that like may not be totally safe for you to consume. Um, so I love, I love, love, love in this, the allusion to Scarface. It's totally an illusion, not a parody. Because they're not making fun of Scarface, but particularly with Cartman and, um, you know, Colonel Sanders, where he goes to uh, Kentucky and it's a total play, um, an allusion to the, uh, I mean, he has the same music of, of the uh, uh, part of, uh, you know, of uh, Scarface where Tony Montana goes, uh, goes to the, uh, you know, the, uh, the complex, the compound. Um, it's just pretty, pretty, pretty funny. 